Thunder! 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 Thundercats! Ho! Women are caught in the middle of your battles with the mutants, and we are being destroyed. Hello, Bots and Books fans. This is Scorp1701, and tonight we are going to be taking a look at another awesome offering from Super 7 in their ultimate Thundercats line, and it is going to be the Warrior Maiden Willa. Yes, and if you're not familiar with Willa, she is a minor character, although she had a couple good episodes where she helped the Thundercats out, but she is the leader of the Warrior Maidens who live in the Treetop Kingdoms on Third Earth, and she made her debut in the episode The Trouble with Time. That's one of my favorite episodes, and she used hangs out with her sister Nada. But anyway, taking a look at this awesome box, you have the standard Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates box with the nice and black and the red Thundercats symbol here. You have Thundercats logo, you have ages 14 plus, you have Willa, you have Super 7 on the top of the box, you have Ultimates! Nothing on the left side of the box, nothing on the right side of the box. On the bottom of the box, you do get some credits for the box and a barcode if that is of any interest to you. Coming around to the back of the box you have a huge Thundercats logo there contents one figure with accessories and super seven but this is still in the realm of the slip covers for super seven so what we will do now is lift this awesome slip cover up and we could see Willa in the packaging and there she is looking all cute and she is surrounded by her weapons and accessories and at the top you now have ages 14 plus super 7 Thundercats logo has now appeared on the top of the box you still have ultimates nothing on the left side nothing on the right side the bottom of the box does not change and coming around to the back you now have an awesome picture of Willa and Super 7 at the top and a read up of her so we can zoom in and I will do that and you could pause the video here read her read up to your heart's content but we must be moving backward and outward and wow that is a nice piece of artwork for Willa and I really like how they do the artworks on the back of the box and that is going to be the packaging, but no one wants to see Willa in the packaging. I know you don't. So let's get her out and see how tough she really is. And here we have Willa out of the package. And out of the package, she stands approximately six and a half inches tall. And she's surrounded by her accessories that we'll take a look at in just a moment. But first off, I want to take a look at this warrior queen herself. And coming real close in on Willa's head sculpt, we can see it is a very beautiful head sculpt, very cartoon accurate. And the thing about Willa was she was the first actual human woman that was in the show. There wasn't a lot of humans that the Thundercats interacted with. There was Hachiman and a couple others, but for the most part, everybody on Third Earth was some sort of animal person. But uh, Willa and the Warrior Maidens were actually female. So this is pretty nice. She does have a nice head of brown hair. And it's really nicely done. Dark brown. It's going off in waves coming around. And on the other side and in the back it comes up. And she's got it done in a little braid coming down the front of her body. So we can zoom out to see that. That is pretty nice. Her face is very beautifully done. She has these beautiful brown eyes. Almost look like an anime character they're so big and she got some nice eyebrows nice sharp nose beautiful red lips got a little bit of blush on her cheeks i like that she has her standard red flower in her hair right here with some green at the bottom i love that Coming down, she does have a plunging neckline. Let's zoom out just a little bit. That is really nice. Nice skin tone on her all the way down her arms. Zoom out some more so we can see her entirety of the body. And she is wearing her standard orange dress. It's got a lot of frays down here at the bottom, which is really nicely cut. 
She does have a yellow belt that goes across her waist section. It does branch off to this brown section and there is a plastic knife holder right here attached to the belt and it is a single piece and if you look on the back you can see it's pegged into the belt so you could probably take that off i wouldn't advise it because it would probably be uh, precarious to get it back on and coming down to her left uh, arm she does have this nice golden bracelet with some green gems in it that is cool as you go down if you are interested the skirt does have a couple of slits in the side that will help for the articulation of the legs and if we lift it up not to be perverse or anything there is some colored undies in there they are orange and on the back also get the same thing and on the back of the skirt here you do get a little bit of copyright detail if you're interested in that but Anyway, moving down the body, you have just the standard legs. And when you get to the bottom, you do got some golden bands here, right above the ankles. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like protection or anything, but I don't know if that could really protect anybody from anything. And then you have some nice molded feet there. So that is good. You got your five toes. On the bottom, you do get a little bit of peg holes. And that is pretty much gonna be what your willa looks like and what she should look like very nicely done i like the sculpt i like the mold colors are really good and she just looks as cute as she can be all right moving on and for our articulation starting at the head the head can go around 360 degrees but because of the way it's made and all the hair you don't get any wiggle waggle and you don't go forward or backwards just rotation 360 degrees for the head coming to the shoulders shoulders can come up from the body and then back down they can go around 360 degrees you do not have a bicep rotation that will bring you down to your elbow bend and you got a very nice sharp elbow bend there that is good and that elbow bend is built into a forearm rotation 360 degrees there coming it down to your fist and your fist is rotatable 360 degrees and it is hinged so you can go in and out up or down depending on where you have it that will bring us to the center of the body you do have a diaphragm rotation 360 degrees here it is a little tight so make sure you heat this up before you mess with it too much and then that same rotation also gives you a little bit of forward and back left and right wiggle waggle so that is really nice and then that brings you down to your standard 360 degree waist rotation that is nice like that coming down to the legs legs can go up a little ways and that is good they can go out to the side a little more because of the nice slit in the skirt. Cannot go back because the butt gets in the way, so that's uh, all right. You do get a few clicks of thigh rotation, so that is good. Coming down to your knee bend, knee does bend a little bit, not as good as your elbow but that's okay. The knee is built into a lower leg rotation, 360 degrees here. Coming down to your foot, and the foot is hinged. It can go up, it can go down, and it could rock around the world 360 degrees. And that is going to be Willa's articulation. Nothing that you wouldn't expect, and nothing that you would be wanting. All right, moving on. And for accessories, Willa has this nice alternate head. It still has the same hairstyle, but the face is now a lot happier. She has some wider eyes, and her mouth is now open, and you can see some nice teeth in there, and she just looks more adorable and more happy. She always needs to be happy. I think in the show, the Thundercats made her crazy, but uh, yeah, it's nice to see her happy. So that is good, and that is Willa's alternate head and taking a look at willa's alternate hands she comes packaged with a set of fisted hands she also has a set of weapon holding hands she has a pair of open palm hands 
and she comes with a set of grabby scratchy hands and there is also one other hand that we'll talk about just a little bit later but like most good action figures having a lot of hands gives you a lot of options and that is Willa's alternate hands and for weapon accessories Willa comes with this very nice dagger you got a little bit of silver here on the handle followed by some orange and brown the blade and the hilt is done in a nice silver and the blade is curved and that is really deadly looking and she could hold this and tack with this and she could place it in her little sheath attached to her belt and it looks really good there so yeah a deadly weapon for a deadly warrior maiden also part of willa's arsenal she has her bow she has a quiver full of arrows and two singular arrows by themselves now taking a look at the bow itself it is done in a nice plastic and you can see it's multicolored. you got some orange here followed by like a wood grain and then some more orange for wrapping and then the wood grain and then the orange wrapping again and then you have the bow string which is flexy it's very nice you can stretch it out a little bit so that is cool taking a look at this quiver of arrows it's nicely done you got it mostly cylinder section and brown plastic you got the strap that will go over her arm coming up to the top you can see the arrows in there they are white and you got the little shafts that you can make out in brown going down to the main part of the arrow now there is no additional room in this quiver so you cannot put the two single arrows in there and i think that was a missed opportunity but speaking of the single arrows the first one is basically a single arrow and it's nicely done you got the white for the feathers down here the light brown for the shaft and then the arrow head is done in silver and that is really nice and thin and secondly she comes with a smoke arrow or various different uh, gas arrow depending on what she's shooting out of here same feather design here and the same shaft and then coming to the tip of the arrow it is done in a brown and you have some darker brown for the wrappings which would uh, keep the gas or the powder in place silver for the arrow tip and that is nicely done now with this set of weapons you also get a special hand and it is molded so it could actually hold the bowstring and an arrow in this slit right here between the forefinger and the middle finger and that looks really nice she looks exactly like she's about to fire off some arrows and i like the design i like the molded hand and the arrow set that we got and that is going to be willa's bow and arrows and for willa's last accessory this is bushy the giant tree spider that appeared in the episode the fireballs of plundar and i love this cute little guy he is just an adorable little creature and i don't like spiders myself but when i saw him and the way he moved he's just so cute he's got his little legs here and they got some green feet and hands he's got a nice detailed face with some sad little eyes and a mouth he's got some little antenna sticking up here i love that it's just so cute even for a spider you can see he is all detailed with some nice hair all over his body trying to turn him around you can see the back this is why i purchased the figure because i wanted to have a little bushy spider <laughs> <laughs> and he's so cute and that being said this has been willa's accessories moving on and for comparison here willa is with lion and tiger both whom she helped out in the episode fireballs of plundar they look really good together and for ladies night here you have willa with shitara pumira and mandora the evil chaser and this is a nice group of femme fatales i do think that pumira is still a little too tall but when you look at willa and mandora they are approximately the same height for humanoid and chitara is just 
a little bit taller than Willa. And I think that's okay, but again, Pumaira should be just a little smaller, I think. And for comparison, here you have Willa fending off the mutants with her bow. And yeah, that is really cool. She has sent them running before in the show, and it was pretty fun when she uh, used her sleep gas arrows on them. And that is a cool comparison. They are obviously a little bigger than she is, but she's fierce and scary, and they're cowards. So <laughs> And that's how that's going to work. All right. Then that's going to be your comparisons. Moving on. And this has been the Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates Warrior Maiden Willa. And she was a very fun figure to play around with. Now, she wasn't a major character, and she was only in a few episodes. But when she was in the episodes, she made a big impact. And when they announced her in the wave, I wasn't really sure I was going to pick her up until, obviously, I saw what she came with. And because she came with Bushy, yeah. I definitely had to have her because that little spider was really a character I wanted in my collection. Not that Willa's bad. Willa is a human woman for the Thundercats to interact with. I liked her sculpt and mold. It's just like it was in the cartoon. Her colors are good. Very cute. Her articulation is really good. She has a lot of free moving limbs and joints. It isn't hindered by armor or weird horns or tails or anything like that. Now, she did have her braid and that does prevent a little bit of movement around her neck area, but it's still not too bad compared to some of the other things. Thundercats figures that we have. Her accessories were awesome. Basically everything she had in the cartoon she had here to include her bow and arrow, her quiver, her knife, and of course little Bushy. <laughs> And yeah, she was just, again, a fun, cute figure to play with. And I'm happy to add her to my collection. So if you are looking for her, she is out on the shelves right now. And you can find her at your online retailers. And she will go for about $55 to $60, depending on where you pick her up. So if you're looking... Happy hunting. And I have no doubt that they will release Nada, her sister, somewhere down the line. So if you're looking for both of the warrior maidens from the treetop kingdom, just give Super 7 some time and I think Nada will pop up. All right, guys, that is it. That is the Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates Warrior Maiden Willa. I hope you enjoyed the review. Have a great night. And until next time... Keep playing.